welcome back. We're doing a sneak peek to Miss Day. So exciting. My music's better than paparazzi music. This is uh, called Feelings, and it's by the Diviners, and it's free on YouTube. Royalty for the music. Some of it's really good, and I hear a lot of the songs that I've downloaded for myself, and they're in other commercials like Walgreens and CVS Pharmacy, which I thought was hilarious. So anyway, welcome back, everybody. This is Misty Kirby Sneak Peeks with Misty. Let's see what she's going to show to you today. Is she going to talk about her outfit? I'm pretty damn sure. Hey, paparazzi. Hey, paparazzi. I'm here to interrupt your Friday night plans for just a few minutes. Be because I have no life. And I'm wearing my 1970s leisure suit in purple. So I can interrupt your Friday night to show you the first Saturday drop of the season. This is something you better get excited for, paparazzi. Let's go. Because we're going to do sneak peeks for our very first Saturday release of the month of March. I am so excited about the promotion this month. It's gonna be so fun, and I'm gonna show you the pieces that will be headed your way in the morning. Let's quickly start with my outfit. I am wearing head to toe purple in a corduroy jumpsuit. It obviously- And jelly shoes from the 1980s. I'm wearing jelly shoe clogs with my nails done all pink and cute because I can afford pedicures, because that's what's important in life, pedicures. It ties in the center and zips all the way up. It obviously is a deeper V, so that's gonna give me some real it estate fits. for a necklace. And I love whenever you can mix and match all Misty, different kinds honestly, of accessories. Out of now, I have paired it with a clear heel. It is based in silver, meaning the part that my foot goes on is in silver, and I have a silver zipper, so I play silver accessories. But I want it to be a little bit more playful, so I've got a silver ring, and then I've got these amazing bracelets that are available currently. You can see yeah, they've that they been are in the back gems. Office now, I'm like obviously months. not in something that's overly sparkly, I but I am playing fits. using the gems as a that. playful method, and then I've paired it with this amazing bow necklace. You saw it. It flew out of the back office, and I love when items are so loved and coveted and this is definitely one of those necklaces so the bow okay i just have to say this um when things fly out of the back office it's not because it's popular with the general public because the general public usually doesn't go in at 12 noon my time to buy jewelry it's consultants consultants go in and do the major paparazzi cash grab give me the money give me the money give me I want all your money. Give me the money. And in exchange for your $2.75 plus tax, so technically for me it was three thirty. Um, I can buy a necklace with a bow on it. Ooh. Give me your money. But the thing is, Missy, um, the general public isn't buying this jewelry at a frenzy. It's your consultants. And your consultants are really your customer. And if you don't believe me, go look at social media. I don't see a lot of selfies Ooh, uh, from people who are buying this from consultants. No, what I see is middle-aged women and my gay population friends, men, selling this jewelry to the masses. And a lot of times I see people selling to other people and those other people seem to be other consultants because when you go and watch a live show, with the exception of a, a few, a lot of the people buying these hot items are the consultants buying from consultants that were able to grab them up. And I am guilty of this as well, okay? I'm, not, I'm calling myself out here. I'm guilty of, of this. Because I sold to other consultants. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Once I figured out that the hot items, if I was able to get them, I was always able to secure sales to other consultants in my team. Oh, combined with the purple corduroy and the gems make it very playful and fun. Now let's get started with the pieces that will be headed your way. Oh my goodness, you are gonna love these. Now this I would consider an elevated basic in the look at that high sheen. These are Ooh, look, rose it gold. Would go and they with are the... a hoop. 
so absolutely Morris beautiful and they necklace. are a smooth finish all the way around i feel like these compare with a million different things with the spring palette this year in particular when you're seeing those pastels i feel like rose gold is such a beautiful color. compliment now this is going to be a really fun ring you've seen a sneak peek of this in another color but check this out so it is silver oh. smooth on the sides and then we've got that shell and i love that it actually it's a plate. It's a plate with seashell emblems on it. Ooh, it's a guitar pick. It's a stylized guitar pick with a stretchy band back. That's what it is. Actually tilts, okay? You see that the point it's a guitar is pick. not meant to go straight up and down. It's actually meant to take just a slight curve, okay? It's a and guitar then we've got pick. that starfish and the shell setting right on top. To me, this is like looking down in the sea, picking up the seashells and placing them as a memory. This is going to be so fun. And as you know, I love how she likes to inspire feeling and emotion with all of this jewelry. I just absolutely love this. It reminds me of being on the beach and and picking up thin, what are those things? Seashells off of the seashore. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. But it's it's like, why are you trying to evoke a feeling for a piece of $2.75 overpriced shit? I don't get it. I have never gotten it. I fell for the hype and I don't get it. I still don't get it. I don't think I'll ever get it. That beach vibe is infused throughout the spring season. Oh, so I'm that's sure a is. really fun one. Now this one you're gonna love paparazzi. This is a layered lavender necklace. You can see Ooh, the different gems necklace. inside of there and check out with that heart it has rhinestones heart with Ooh. that overlay and you can see the overlay right here in this Iridescent gem crystal as well rhinestones. i also because it's all the rage front, still four years so cool. later this is a layered look so you're going to get these three layers together in one necklace that is massive bang for your buck so amazing and so many fun ways to wear this and you it will wear twist this up and like look taking the terrible and once you have it on more playful like i did with my bracelets or you can use it to really kind of dress up something that is a bit more simple I'm sure. Now, I absolutely love these earrings because Why? I feel like the shape, look heavy the and... use of shape, both in the circle and then the points, right? And then we've also got the elongated uh, gem. Those are too big. They, they're they too big. And they sounded clunky. And I'm sorry, but no. No. It's right there is so fun and beautiful. It is it's a combination so so of fun. hematite as well as those center are like a smoky gray, right? It's a color we call black diamond, but I absolutely love these. I feel it's like these go with gray so glass. many accessories. Now here's something sure really fun. This is actually a hinge cuff. So you're going to see it right it's there. Actually you ugly. That in I'm disparaging your jewelry, Misty. Like locking mechanism, right? The Don't disparage the jewelry. Easy. You can see that the it has those hematite rhinestones as well. Easy to open, okay? I feel easy to like fall off. This is easy to break. Great match. You have got this. Oh look, at you the can top match. You've got in, squares and, then you've and also circles. On that circle right there. Ooh, in it's the matchy, matchy, but not itself. really. It pairs, the bottom but obviously not really. Has funky shapes, but we could sell these together, but not here, really. Play on it. It allows you to combine different shapes in bracelets. With don't other sell. Other bracelets, necklaces, rings don't or sell. Potentially a ring. So that's a really fun set that's headed your way. Oh, it's now, really, Man really fun. Now, Mana Paparazzi. We Mano wanted to make Paparazzi. sure that you were in on the Saturday fun as well. So here is an amazing ring. You can see that it that is a so diamond shape, but it has stupid. rounded edges, which I absolutely love. And then right there in the center, we've got that big square gem, which is a clear crystal or a white, right? Which I think gives it lots of potential to be able to put on with a lot of different accessories and outfits. It's just a little bit of shine, so it can even be placed with something that's a bit more casual. Now, this is a really fun one. This is a silver moon, and then we have got the gold heart right there. It is more of a dainty style. I feel like this can go with so many things right now. That celestial vibe you're going to see both in clothing as well as accessories. And this is definitely a combo that gives you a lot of potential. I also feel like this runs the gamut of ages, which I think is really important and really fun. Now this one is vibrant and happy, and it shows some love for sure. Valentine's Day is over! 
And then we've got obviously a red base, and then you can see why? the different. Why? 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 It's like I March absolutely 6th. love that you've got those red pearls, and then the rhinestones that make you basically take the heart them. and make it daintier inside. So you've got a heart with and a heart just based on the different materials, which is so cool. Now, I absolutely love Three this bangle. This is shine. going to be a Gina. copper. Another basic that allows you to have a lot oh, of add-on pieces. I it's love ropey. the rope-like texture within here. Hi, you can see I'm it on the top and bottom, and then that smooth finish in the center. It actually has a bit of a curve to it, which I think is so pretty. And obviously, as a bangle, you can see it right there. It is quite thick, which I think is really fun, right? You can really, really stack fun. a couple of these so that you wanted, so or if you have one, you're definitely going to see it. Now, last but not least, here's a nod to the yeah. Western trend that is hitting the world, and we love it here at Paparazzi. We know we you love it, too. Paparazzi. This Look at this cowboy hat. Woo! You can see the black rhinestones, okay, around the outside. That rim looks so dumb. Hat, I think is so cool. You can see it when I move it up. It's a cowboy right? hat. So fun. Wow. These items will hit your back office in the morning are you so excited the first saturday release of the month of march we know that march is going to be amazing i hope you have an incredible weekend an incredible night and know you're loved and cared about Ugh. Love bomb your consultants good job misty kirby okay so oh look isn't he so cute and so fun all right and then there's the play guitar pick ring Ooh ah so cute and so fun Ooh, life of the party comes in all shapes and sizes. Let's look at this reel. Oh, look, we have opalescent crystally pastel rhinestones. That's perfect for Easter. So cute. So, ooh, look at that. That's the sneak peek for that. And then we have, ooh, ooh, uh, get your Z collection pieces. And then we have iridescent plastic whatnots. They're earrings, but they're stupid. Um, was that a life of the party? No, they're just trendy earrings. Okay. Uh, let's see. Set your alarm. Tuesday, March 5th, 10 a.m. Empower Me Pink exclusives will drop as a bundle. Empower Me Pink attendees only. Okay. And then we have this cheap anklet. And then we have, ooh, look at the Simply Santa Fe. Look at this. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Today, oh, paparazzi. Misty didn't like that I was telling everybody she was gaslighting you. So look what they did. Today is the day we will be dropping Empower Me Pink exclusives of exclusives at 10 a.m. For our first drop, only one bundle will be available to those who attended Empower Me Pink. Oh, you mean... Uh, me calling Misty Kirby out? They decided to make sure everybody was able to get a bundle? Shut the front door. Oh my god. The tab will go live just as soon as the drop is released. Oh, thanks, gorgeous. Will multiples be available at a later time? Thanks, was wondering. Got mine, finally, a special item that didn't sell out in seconds. Y'all just refused to read these well-written, detailed messages before and Asking questions. Kimberly Brooks, you're a bitch. Uh, let's see. Does anyone else see the tab for Empower Me Pink? Where's the tab? Looking for the tab. You know, it's kind of funny um, that me calling Misty Kirby out on her shitty business practices actually induces some change. You're welcome, paparazzi consultants. It's because of me calling out the bullshittery that some things change. Like, another thing that changed. For all the new people that sign up, now you actually have access to read the policies and procedures before you give your credit card. <gasps> that should have been the case all along, but that didn't change until I called them out on that, shockingly. But it's kind of interesting how um, me calling out the shit business practices that I see them do, and yes, I'm spicy and I'm using a lot of strong language today, that this stuff happens. Like I said, you're welcome, paparazzi consultants. Those of you who um, are like, why are you so angry all the time? Hey, guess what? My anger makes them change things that benefit you. So if you think that my anger is misplaced, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I don't, okay? Because of me pointing out the bad practices that this business engages in, you guys benefit from it. You just do. 
Some of you benefit from it because you share your story of, hey, the light bulb went on for me. I noticed that I was not making money. I have more inventory than I can reasonably sell. And paparazzi won't let me sell it for less than $5. Even though... If you go back and look at the paparazzi origin story, paparazzi got its start doing conventions. And they bought their jewelry from wholesalers in China, and all of them had the little tag that said fashion jewelry. It didn't say paparazzi, it just said fashion jewelry, five for $20. Why can't paparazzi consultants sell their jewelry five for 20 to get rid of some of the uh, excess inventory? I don't know. Paparazzi should allow you to do that. Do you have a lot of inventory that's old? Instead of focusing on getting new releases and new jewelry like this stupid Star Charmy necklace or the Empower Me Pink exclusives that are honestly available on Timu. Um, and, oh, look, Valentine's Day is over, but we now have a gold necklace that's layered and it says love. And then we have, I can't really see the jewelry in this picture. So let's zoom in and see what they're selling here. A pearl necklace with starfish charms and clam earrings. Okay. So, uh, and then we have another life of the party sneak peek. Look, it's more flowers and old earrings put together on a chain. Ooh, ooh, ah. <coughs> and reminder, if you go below the clouds, <coughs> you will get endless sunshine. You are limitless. I'm sorry, I'm choking and this hurts. <coughs> I apologize. I am strong, happy, fearless, unstoppable, confident, and hopeful. I am paparazzi. Gross. Just gross. All right, so that's it for this short and sweet. Uh, let's go and see what's available in the back office. Walk this way. That's not a new bracelet set, but, you know, it's under the new releases tab. And then we've got Desert Flower Patch. Ooh, ooh, ah. Uh, Badlands Backdrop. Some guy's bracelet. Look, the hinge didn't sell out from the sneak peeks from three days ago. And neither did Off the Road Ropey Relics. And prom princess, we've got two bobby pins with pearls on them for five dollars. Wow, that's a waste of money. And then we've got smoky gray rhinestones here. And ooh, look, ear cuffs there, hingy hoops there, more hoops there. What's with all the hoops? Hoopy, hoopy, hoopy doopy. Um, a plate, painter's palette, yet again. Um Extra Empirical, The Empire Strikes Back. Victory Gold, some guy's ring that is in gold. Ooh. And then Timber Totem. I remember when that came out a couple, was it two years ago or a year ago when Crystal and Devin, well, hold on, you guys can't see it because my head's in the way. Didn't that come out in Crystal and Devin and I, they took a picture with their kid wearing it and then they got mad? Well, you put your kid on social media. I didn't. Corporate Cascade. Oh, oh God. How, how terribly cheap and pink is that? And what are the included earrings? Oh, three little bees. Oh my God. That is awful. A highly reflective collection of dainty, fauceted pink beads. Features an adjustable clasp closure. It's a bolo necklace that has an adjustable clasp closure. That makes no sense. Synchronized rhinestone shimmer multi. That thing will break so fast because it is such poor quality. And I'm guessing that when people got this the last time, it came not, it came broken. So they're not buying it this time. So it's in multi, but it's on gold. And then we have dazzling declaration, a rhinestone necklace with rhinestone. Earrings. Ooh, wow. Fifth Avenue A-listers back. Not new. That's a, a piece from when I was a consultant. Corporate color. What makes this corporate? It honestly looks dumb. And that rhinestone right there, it's not even centered on the disc. It's, you know, paparazzi, if you're going to take pictures and show the jewelry, why don't you show jewelry that's actually put together decently? 
And then we have more white collar week. Is this in pink too? Oh, look, you can get this to go with the bolo. You can layer them up. And then we've got the fruit salad is still available and in colorful cadet. So we've got cheap chain, cheap chain, and then, ooh. Wow. I bet ear cuffs came out that matched that. Oh, that's so sad. All right, so March, fa March, the March Fashion Fix has been live for a few days, by the way. So Magnificent Musings is still fully available. Glimpses of Malibu is still fully available. Uh, the Charmy set is still available. And the Simply Santa Fe set is still available. What sold out? The stupid hearts. You can buy them all individually, but the set, the bundle, is gone. So, I guess everyone went goo goo gaga over the heart set. Are we getting ready for Mother's Day now? What's the deal? But yes, the rest of the sets are completely immature and stupid. And kind of ugly. And I, I'm just not interested. But yeah, so the promotion this month is, of course, Seize the Spotlight, and Saturdays are for shopping. But here's the other thing. Um, guess what? We still don't have a new income disclosure statement. We still have the 2021 numbers. <gasps> so um, if you're thinking about joining paparazzi, take a look at this. The numbers are from 2021. We're now in 2024. I haven't been a paparazzi consultant since 2020. I quit this month four years ago. I've been doing this YouTube channel for over four years at this point. Um, but as you can see, the top uh, 20, I can't even math right now. But according to this income disclosure, a good portion of the people in the company, like 90% of the people in the company are director or lower. And their average monthly paid bonus is... $196.22. That's kind of sad. $196.22. Yeah. All right, you guys. Short and sweet, to the point. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And uh, I'm still healing, taking time to do so. And I appreciate your love, thoughts, and prayers. They are appreciated. They are heard. And thank you. I'm slowly coming back. All right. Take care of yourself. Love y'all later. See you later. Bye.